It can happen anytime you drive through an intersection, which you probably do dozens of times every day. And if it's an SUV hitting you from the side, the danger is even greater. The government, surprisingly, does not conduct any crash tests that measure which vehicles can protect you in that kind of accident. But somebody else has. And tonight we have an exclusive look at the results. Here's Chief Consumer Correspondent Lee Thompson with a Dateline Consumer Alert. Charging is complete. Crash test with match in four seconds. For the first time, a new crash test simulates what happens when someone in a full-size SUV or pickup truck runs a red light or a stop sign and slams broadside into you at 31 miles an hour. The results you are about to see are frightening, but they do demonstrate the most dangerous types of crashes on the road today. According to the government, some 10,000 people a year are killed inside impact accidents. The frontal crash is no longer the crash that produces most of the deaths. The side crash is now producing most of the deaths. Brian O'Neill runs the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, a nonprofit research group funded by automobile insurance companies. For years, the Institute's mission has been to reduce deaths, injuries, and property damage, which in turn does save insurance companies money. In the past, manufacturers have given the Institute credit for bringing about safer car designs. They have to pay attention. They can't ignore these kinds of tests and this kind of publicity. The government does require all new vehicles to pass a side impact test. A rolling sled, representing a typical passenger car, is slammed into the side of cars and trucks at 38 miles an hour. In the government's test, the point of impact is here, about the middle of the door. But in an effort to make its test as realistic as possible, the Institute makes sure the point of impact is here, where a full-size SUV could hit you. That's because government statistics show more than 50% of side impact deaths are caused by SUVs and pickups hitting other vehicles. And in these crash tests, the Institute has done something else. Instead of using two large male crash test dummies like the government does, it uses two smaller ones, a female in the driver's seat. This is the soccer mom. This is the short soccer mom. And a 12-year-old in the back seat. Rear seats, when they are occupied, are more often occupied by children. This first series of tests includes some popular small SUVs. They're bought off dealers' lots with no extra options. They all have frontal airbags as required by law. Some even come standard with side airbags, but some do not. First up, the 2003 Subaru Forester with standard side airbags. Will they make a difference? Very early in the crash, this side impact bag that protects both the torso and the head is inflated. This is now providing a protective barrier between the dummy's head and this striking impactor here. But there are no side airbags in the back of this SUV. Let's see how that dummy does. This passenger would do better if there was head protection back here. The Institute would like to see rear airbags in the Forester, but since the backseat child is not seriously hurt, it gives a rating of good, the highest of the four ratings. Here's the 2003 Hyundai Santa Fe. Like the Forester, it has front seat, body, and head protecting side airbags as standard equipment. All of the injury measures to the driver in this test were good. But the Santa Fe gets marked down slightly because the structure around the driver collapses. So it gets a rating of acceptable, just one level down from good. Next up, the 2003 Honda CRV. Honda does offer it with optional side airbags, but since they're not standard, the Insurance Institute tests it without them. The driver's head actually hit the window sill and is probably going to cause some nasty injuries to the face, if not to the brain. The Honda CRV gets a marginal. There's only one rating lower. Jeep was the original SUV dating back to the 1940s. But in 2003, can the Jeep Wrangler's driver survive a side impact crash with no side airbags? 
multiple rib fractures, maybe injuries to the internal organs such as the spleen, uh, kidney for example, a person could die from these kinds of injuries. Even though the driver may be dead of internal injuries, the Insurance Institute says because the rear passenger is not hurt, the Jeep Wrangler doesn't get the lowest rating, it gets a marginal. Find out what that could mean for you and your family. Do you see this crash as a potentially fatal crash? Oh, for sure. There's no question. When Dateline continues.